Well, here is a system that is to blame uh, for our unsettled weather for the next few days. It's this huge area of low pressure that is tapping into this tropical moisture, this atmospheric river, and uh, channeling it straight into Southern California. Now, the rain started yesterday over Santa Barbara County, Ventura County, so the rainfall amounts out there are already somewhere between two to five inches. Uh, you can see that rain has been falling steadily over the same location uh, since last night. So this is why... These two areas are under a flash flood warning, Santa Barbara County and also portions of Ventura County. Now the rain also falling in LA County and not much happening over in Orange County and the IE. Uh, give it some time during the afternoon is when we're going to see that rain increase for you. And as we head into tomorrow, the rain is going to shift and be more over the Inland Empire and Orange County area. Today, uh, we have a high risk for flash flooding over Santa Barbara and parts of Ventura County with a moderate risk over LA County, <clears throat> the IE and OC. So we're going to encounter those flooded conditions at times and unfortunately also rock slides, mud slides. There's also the potential for some tree damage uh, because of those gusty winds at times. So here's a look at the rainfall estimates from two to four inches for Ventura and LA County, not as much as the past storm system, but this is just more rain on top of saturated soils. That's the reason why there's a concern for more flooding. One to two inches in the Inland Empire in Orange County through Wednesday, and then the foothills in the mountains, we could get from four to eight inches, but some places could get up to 10 inches. And how about the winds? The winds, ah, they're strong through the I-5 corridor, through the grapevine. This is where a high wind warning is in effect. But during the afternoon, we're going to feel those breezy conditions right along the coast as well. Now, snow, not so much a concern. This is a warm system, and the snow level is pretty high. Uh, but... Tuesday evening through Wednesday morning, we could have several inches above 7,000 feet for the uh, San Bernardino and Riverside County Mountains. So uh, when we get there, of course, we'll warn you about that, but that's something that's in the cards. How about the temperatures? It's a chilly morning. We've got 50s. Big Bear is at 37, and there's not going to be much of a range today. So you are going to need the jackets because uh, temperatures are going to be chilly, 50s and 60s, plus the umbrella because those periods of moderate to heavy rain will continue. So here's a seven-day forecast. We're in this all the way through Wednesday. After that point is when things start to dry out and the temperatures even start to warm up. For example, the basin in Orange County, we're in the low 60s today. Same goes for the coast. We'll do it again tomorrow and even Wednesday. But Thursday and Friday, sunshine returns. We'll have highs in the mid to upper 60s. And as of now, the weather stays dry over the weekend. But here we are looking at the weather in the valleys and Inland Empire on top of rainy at times, also windy, especially for the valleys. Uh, we'll have rain lingering through Wednesday and then we get into some much milder and drier weather from Thursday all the way into the weekend. The high desert, rain for you through Wednesday. The low desert, a chance tomorrow and Wednesday, but today it's going to stay dry, and uh, we'll see the dry conditions uh, starting on Thursday. Then finally in the mountains, uh, not looking like you may need chains, uh, because the conditions are mostly wet, but you should still be very careful because it's very slippery, it's foggy, it's hard to see, plus you got some uh, strong winds today. So be safe traveling towards the mountains. Try to avoid it if you can, especially on Wednesday morning. After that point, the weather, uh, it dries out. We'll have temperatures in the 40s, close to 50 degrees on Friday and Saturday. That's your forecast, everyone.